Would you please join with me as we begin our Mass? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. So uh, the past couple of weeks, we've uh, been notified that been uh, quite a few folks who have been to Mass and then uh, have tested positive uh, following. We don't know what's the chicken and what's the egg, so we thought it best to sort of clamp down on some of our protocols, and so we've done that this evening, which also uh, turned out that our musicians weren't able to attend because of that as well. So if you're a fan of a quick mass, this is your night. <laughs> I'll be using the mask during the Eucharistic prayers as well. We celebrate now this 26th Sunday of Ordinary Time, and so brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, you say the Lord's way is not fair. Hear now, house of Israel, is it my way that is unfair, or rather are not your ways unfair? When someone virtuous turns away from virtue to commit inequity and dies, it is because of the inequity he committed that he must die. But if he turns from the wickedness he has committed and does what is right and just, he shall preserve his life. Since he has turned away from all the sins that he has committed, he shall surely live. He shall not die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your love are from of old. The sins of my youth and my frailties remember not. In your kindness remember me, because of your goodness, O Lord. Remember your mercies, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice 
and teaches the humble his way. Remember your mercies, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, and any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vain glory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interest, but also for those of others. Have in you the same attitude that is also in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God, something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the chief priests and elders of the people, What is your opinion? A man had two sons. He came to the first and said, Son, go out and work in the vineyard today. He said in reply, I will not. But afterwards changed his mind and went. The man came to the other son and gave the same order. He said in reply, Yes, sir but did not go. Which of the two did his father's will? They answered, the first. Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, tax collectors and prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God before you. When John came to you in the way of righteousness, you did not believe him, but tax collectors and prostitutes did. Yet even when you saw that, you did not later change your minds and believe him. The Gospel of the Lord. Just by a quick show of hands, I'm not going to embarrass anybody. How many people here have um, participated in some sort of social media? Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Pretty much everybody, not quite everybody, but most. You've been reading much lately online? You'd think we're just a little over five weeks to an uh, election. I preached at a wedding a couple of weeks ago, and I talked about wishing we had an instruction booklet for marriage. Well, you could just kind of look it up and say, okay, he's being this way today. Oh, this is how. But as I've been looking at um, social media this past week or two, I've begun to think that we need an instruction booklet for that as well. And then lo and behold comes this weekend. And sometimes you just can't beat them, you join them. And so this letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, this first paragraph or two is just perfect. 
as an instruction booklet for social media. It should be in the user agreements. It should be the terms of engagement. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vain glory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also for those of others. I also happened to find a good post on Facebook this week, someone who was sort of trying to do the same thing, give a few pointers on how to be on social media. This person wrote, do something. Instead of posting something, do something. Are you praying for the presidential candidate? Can you imagine what would happen if we all said their names in our daily prayers? Or prayed for a person when we saw a post we disagreed with instead of writing a thesis on someone's post we disagree with? They go on and write for a while. Let's all pray for each other, the person said, and then gave a quote from Archbishop Gomez. Politicians come and go, nations rise and fall, empires fade away. What remains is the church that Jesus Christ established on the rock of St. Peter. And then finished with, turn your, phone, turn your phones off and keep your eyes on him. I'd almost like to ask for an amen. And that post was written by a parishioner at Resurrection. Together, let us say what we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. Into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. The Father and the Son is adored and glorified, and has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Called to be disciples, let us offer our prayers to the Lord in confidence. For the Holy Church on earth, may the power of the Holy Spirit help us to love one another and live in unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of authority, may the Lord lead them in their efforts toward protecting all human life from conception 
to natural death, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the unemployed and underemployed, may God in his goodness help them find work that will provide for their needs. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, may we grow in mercy and compassion, joyfully Im imitating Christ our Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, may they rejoice with the saints in God's everlasting kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Gary Sparks, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's include our own intentions inside. We thank you, Father, for your steadfast love and abundant grace. Please hear and answer our prayers this day according to your holy will. We ask this through your Son, Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For out of compassion for the waywardness that it is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, and in earth are full of your glory. Zion the highest, blessed is he.
Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, till you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 
The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only to the Just a reminder, we'll bring communion out to you in the pews. And if you're listening to us in the parking lot, we'll be out to the portico very shortly.
Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. So it turns out that's a lot of words to say with the mask on. I thought I was going down. So uh, recently we've had a, an uptick in numbers with the COVID. Uh, the governor has um, opened up the state now to stage five. What that does for us and for masses in the future, don't know. Uh, the bishops will be meeting, the committees will be meeting, and as soon as any change is made, we'll let you know. Um, but uh, so far as I've heard and we've heard, uh, the dispensation through November the 1st is still in place. Oh, and there's just a few spots left for Working Faux Festival. Back in the back on the sheets there. Not many left, honestly, but they're the weekend ones, so. Mm -hmm. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. <laughs>